Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Robert Ralph, freelance writer and content creator. Today I wanted to talk about the secret algorithm on medium.com. Uh, over the past uh, seven or eight years, there have been many, many writers on Medium claiming to know the algorithm in which Medium pays their writers. Now, there are certainly some things that uh, we do know. Um, once you're eligible and you've joined the Medium Partner Program um, and you submit an article either to a publication which gets published or you self-publish, um, the idea is to get as many uh, views on that article as possible. Um, it's a complicated uh, process on how Medium pays each writer. I will do the very, very best to cover the basics. But in truth, um, there is no secret way of finding out the magic algorithm because Medium just simply does not release um, all of the information. So. All these articles that you see where writers are claiming to know the algorithm and, and how to beat the system, um, they're simply not true. Um, it's never been released, it will never be released, uh, because why would it? Um, ultimately, um, there is one thing that I will tell you at the end of this video, um, which is the perfect answer to the question, uh, how to beat the algorithm. Um, but let's dive into the algorithm itself and, and what we do know how Medium pay uh, the writers on the platform. So in its very basics, um, when you're a member on Medium, you either pay $5 a month or $50 for the year. Uh, for this particular video, we're going to say that you're paying $5 uh, a month uh, to be subscribed to Medium. Uh, Medium basically takes half of that money um, away from you and the other half, which I think is something around $2.27, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the screen, but something around there, because they take an admin fee as well, um, goes into what um, Medium will pay writers uh, when people read their story. So as an example, let's say I have got £2.27 to distribute um, to other writers on Medium. When I click on an article and I read through that article, when I get to the bottom, it goes basically from a view to a read, and this is one way in which Medium pays its writers. If the article is uh, a three minute long article, or if the article is a 10 minute art long article, of course, the more time you spend on that page, you'll get uh, dividends of that £2.27 um, that I have to distribute to a degree. Not that I know I'm doing that, but that's just how Medium works. Now, there are some caveats to that. Let's go into them. I guess the first caveat is if I only read one article a month, then the entire £2.27 will go to the person who has written that article. If I read 10 articles, then that £2.27 is divided by those 10 articles and it basically goes to those 10 writers. But this is where it gets complicated. If one article is three minutes in length and one minute, one article is seven minutes in length, I obviously am not going to have the same amount of read time per article. Therefore, the money will be distributed proportional to the length of that article, or more say, for the length of time that I spent time reading the article. And this is where it gets complicated. In its simple form, it's £2.27 divided by as many articles as you read. Uh, however, um, the algorithm is a little bit more cleverer than that, and rightly so. Um, if you spend more time on one person's article than another, then um, the person that you spend the most time on their article should get paid more. Um, whether you agree or disagree with that, that is just simply how the system works. So for all those people who say, um, 
these are my methods to beating the medium's algorithm on how to get paid. How? How can they possibly tell you what to do? Uh, because they have no influence on what you on what you click on, on what articles you read. Um, so it's as pure and simple as that, really. The, 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 there is no way that you can um, influence the way you get paid. He says, there's a caveat to that as well. Let's dive into it. There are thousands of articles that are written on Medium each day. And equally, there are thousands of readers. So if you write an article, what you really want is exposure to that article. Um, I have just produced a video, um, which I'll link in the description below, about how much money I made on Medium during January 2023. I wrote 20 articles, um, and just to uh, cut through all the crap, I made $410 during January. Now, if I wrote 20 articles, there's a chance I could have made $41 or $4,100. The difference in why I made 410 as opposed to 10 times the amount or 10 times less the amount is due to exposure. Quite clearly, if you can get your articles in front of more people, in front of more readers, they choose to click on your title, they choose to read your article, there's a, uh, a much larger chance that you can earn more money from that article. It's as simple as that. It beats any algorithm. It beats any top 10 tips. You know, all these tips that people are telling you, this is the way to make X amount of money on Medium. The way to make money on Medium is to make sure you get your article in front of as many people as you possibly can. It's exposure. It's as simple as that. Um, I know some absolutely fantastic writers on Medium um, who just simply do not get exposure to their articles. The one that comes to mind, um, really for me, um, well, there's a couple that come to mind, but the one that immediately strikes my mind um, is Art Bram. Um, he is an absolutely incredible writer, very authentic guy, reads, uh, writes a lot of personal stories. He has an excellent community and an excellent following. Um, but damn, that man could, you know, he deserves a lot more exposure than what he's getting. Um, but it is it is difficult. There's no secret weapon. Um, there are some tips and tricks that I can tell you about, about how to get more exposure on your articles. Um, but ultimately, it is down to you to reach a new audience. As an example, if you've been writing in a publication, you've been writing that publication for eight months, there's a good chance a large proportion, get your words out, a large proportion of uh, the followers of that publication will have at some point seen an article of yours. Just moving around and moving to another publication, um, that is a way of gaining more exposure. So I technically write for around about 12 or 13 publications. In reality, I normally go to about four or five different ones. If I want to grow exposure to my articles, one of the ways in which you can do this, of course, is to write for another publication where their followers may not be linked to the publications you're already writing for. So in essence, you're exposing yourself to a new audience. That is the best advice I can give you. It's not rocket science. Move away from the publications you're writing for. Not even that, I don't mean that. Don't move away from them. But every now and then, maybe every fourth or fifth article, write for a new publication. Get more exposure to other publications. And in essence, more writers. That is a great way on medium of how to gain exposure to your articles. Now, there are some other tricks and tips I'll go into into future videos. Of course, one of those is take your articles off medium like YouTube, like I'm doing right now, um, and bring in readers that way. Um, but again, I'll go into this sort of information in future content. Today, I hope you've enjoyed this little part of my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.